Hi, this is Cheryl with another um, movement study, you know, uh, question I had recently about how to, um, you know, when your knees uh, have an injury or like a meniscus tear or, you know, or painful, um, you know, how do you kind of go hiking safely on unstable ground? And so, again, there, we could talk about a lot of things, but here's a little um, kind of uh, piece that's really helpful. I really recommend, first of all, having walking sticks um, because they give you four points of support um, when you're going on an even ground. So that can really help you out if you encounter something, you know, un unexpected, unstable, or you find that your knee really reacts badly to, you know, a step or the conditions that you're on. But here's a little movement hack that kind of sets up your whole system to receive uneven ground better. And so I, I call it the drippy foot. And what is helpful, like normally when we walk, you know, we put our foot forward, we lift our toe and we do a heel strike and then we roll forward. That's totally fine if the ground is level, if there's no unpredictable elements with it, but this is fundamentally setting up your leg to be in a brace position. So if you end up rolling over a rock or a tree root, this can really um, compromise your balance right away because you've set up your body in a kind of bracing position. So another option, you know, there's, there's lots of ways we could work with this, you know, in, in setting up your poles to walk, I call it the drippy foot. So the idea of lifting your heel off and your toes last, so that you're actually leaving no tension in your foot. And then you could step with your toe and roll down. Um, you know, if I ended up going over some kind of object, um, I've got some, some bounce, some resilience, some bend already established in my system by doing this peel off and then stepping down versus lifting and extending and then coming over your foot, you're, you're just in a stiffer, more braced position. And so this idea of, you know, walking with the poles, you've got your three points planted, then you can, you know, drip your toe off and then bring it down. It allows you options before you put your weight on it you might need to adjust where the foot is. You might have to end up rolling on the inside of your foot, but you, you have a softer, more supple option to establish the weight on that foot and then to lift the next one and to have, again, this kind of drippy foot coming down toes first. So, you know, helpful little alternative way to travel on uneven ground on a hiking path that really doesn't um, ask your knees to take the, the brunt of any kind of pressure and especially any kind of change in contact with the ground because of a tree root or a rock. Um, it, you know, it's a, it's a softer motion for your knees and, and for your whole system, your whole body. So again, hope this was helpful. Have a great movement day.